It's time to go in the dugout, presented by the Michigan High School Baseball Coaches Association. This week, we profile and celebrate Larry Tuttle from Blissfield High School, who recently became the all-time winningest baseball coach in MHSAA history. Winning and losing takes care of itself. It's a great feeling, don't get me wrong. It really is. But uh, you, you can't do this without having the players that have dedicated themselves. And over the years, I've had many players and many teams that this has taken place over the past 53 years that we've done this. Coach Tuttle talks about what brought him to Blissfield over 50 years ago. Well, I was teaching in Bedford, and uh, when I grew up, I grew up in the area near Marincy, grew up Marincy, went to Adrian College, and they had a couple coaches that I really wanted to coach under, uh, Jack Heppenstall and Al Schaefer. And they had been here, and uh, Al, or Jack got a hold of me and said, hey, we have an opening in math, and I taught math. Uh, when I was at Bedford and he got in touch with me over there and then I came here in 68 and I did it because I wanted to work with those guys because I knew they were great coaches. The baseball position was open and that was my main reason for coming here to work with them and to coach baseball. Big question is why would coach Tuttle stay in Blissfield for over five decades as head coach? I grew up in a small town. Blissfield is a small town, a rural community. Uh, and athletics, like in a lot of towns, is an integral part of their educational system. And it's been a very integral part of our educational system here, along with the other extracurricular activities. And uh, I've had opportunities to move on, but uh, uh, the timing has to be right in everything. And, and uh, I just have ended up enjoying my time here, enjoying the athletes that I've worked with and the administration and the community itself because it's very supportive of our program. We asked Coach Tuttle on how hard it was not having a season in 2020. Difficult, very difficult, not only for the coaches but out for the players. The players really, uh, you know, fortunately football got to play a season Basketball got to play a season, but they didn't have the state tournament, unfortunately. But baseball didn't get to do anything. And so we really are a year behind. Even though kids may have played a little bit in summer ball, there was still a limit on what they could do there. So uh, our, our freshmen and sophomores are, uh, that are now sophomores and juniors have basically missed out on a full year of instruction. And it, that made it very difficult for them in addition for us and our program. Besides being a longtime head coach, Larry Tuttle also served as president of the Michigan High School Baseball Coaches Association. The association's a great association. We've done a lot of things, been a lot of changes that are made. Uh, I was president from 1988 to 90, and um, we had just started getting a lot of things in place then, and now they've been able to uh, taken it and, and really advance them. And they, those men do a great job and I'm just happy to be a part of that association. During his time at Blissfield, 39 league championships, 28 district titles, 16 regional championships, and seven state titles. The last one back in 2003. For Coach Tuttle, it's the love of the game that keeps bringing them back year after year. I do it, number one, because I, I enjoy the association with them. But I enjoy seeing them grow up, become young men, and be a, 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 you know, an addition to society. Watching them go out, become doctors, lawyers. And if the one thing that we could do was instill some discipline in them along this line and help them to become a better citizen, then we've done our job. I'm Lauren Plant for State Champ.